Hello everybody and welcome back to Mr. V channel. In this video I will show you how I sideload Android apps and games to my Nvidia Shield TV. I know there is a lots and lots of ways to do that. I will show you my way, so stay tuned. I will start by showing what, how you, and what you need to do to prepare the side load. Um, I will show you everything on my Chromebook and then we're gonna jump to Media Shield TV. But the Chromebook step-by-step -step guide, it will work on Android devices as well. It's just, I can't record right now on uh, all this on my phone because my phone has been used to record this video. So um, as an example, I will show you how um, side load um, Assassin's Creed identity to Android TV or Nvidia Shield TV. So I have the game downloaded and you need another app which is called APK Extractor. You get you can get this app by just going to a Google Play Store on your Android device and searching for APK Extractor. That's how it looks like. So you need this app, it's free. And you need to download the the app or, or game, which one you want to sideload to um, Nvidia Shield TV. So I have the game downloaded, and I have this APK extractor. So I'm gonna open APK extractor, and what this app will do, it will load every single app on this Chromebook device, or it will load whatever is available on your Android device. And just gonna put in a massive list. So let's say the first one is an Assassin's Creed Identity. So what I will do is I will click on it. It's gonna oh it needs permissions and stuff. That's fine. So it's extracting now. It's fine. So it's extracted storage emulated zero APK extractor. Second app I need to use is called ES File Explorer. So I'm opening ES File Explorer. You can use the same thing on your Android device as well, like I said. So I am in uh, all this uh, where devices. What is that? Uh, what is it? Emulated storage. Oops, no. Emulated. Yes. Hold on, I got lost. SDK. Yeah, we are. So there is a folder created, extracted app APKs. If we'll go on there. That's my Assassin's Creed and Identity APK installation file. What I will do next in ES File Explorer under Cloud, Network, and then Cloud section, you need to connect to your Google Drive. Obviously, if you're using Android phones, you have Google account. If you have Google account, obviously, you can access Google Drive. So what I do inside there, let's say I'll create a folder, which is going to be called APK. Just keep it simple, APK. So it's creating APK. Ah, and inside, oops, cancel, no, no, inside there is right now empty. So I'll go back to my local devices, SD card, APK extractor, tap and hold, more, copy, go back, select my Google Drive, select APK folder created and click OK. So what it does now is uploading this APK file to my Google Drive. And you can see it's doing at 700 kilobits per second, two minutes left. So I will leave this running and we can come back when it's all done. On the Chromebook, the app already been uploaded to a Google Drive. Just to show you that it's all definitely working, I will delete the current or uninstall the current aim that I have on the Video Shield TV. So yes, uninstall this app. So it's uninstalling. So that's it. It's disappeared. It's no more on my app list. So go back, go back, go back. So on an, on the Nvidia Shield TV, you need to download an app called ES File Explorer, which you can you can find under Google Play Store just by searching ES File Explorer. So let's search for ES. ES File Explorer. Yes, so as you can see, you just install that. This is free of free version. 
go back, go back, go back. So let's go to ES File Explorer. And the network, by the way, I'm using the Logitech wireless mouse, keyboard and a mouse trackpad, easier to navigate. In the cloud, I will insert my Google Drive service. So give me two seconds for me to fill all this in. I'll come back in a second. So I punched <clears throat> my username and a password. So I have Mr. P Google Drive here. I will go inside there, go to APK folder, which I created. And this is the APK file for Assassin's Creed Identity. That's all I need to do is click on that and it's gonna download as a read-only file into internal memory. So while it's downloading, um, some of the sideload apps, even by sideloading them, you won't be able to use them because obviously these apps and all games, they're not being created for TV in mind. So if you download some game that only be created for mobile phone, and even if you're trying the same game or app on a tablet, it works a bit funky, a bit strange. Um, let's say majority of the games will work on Nvidia Shield TV by sideloading them. But if a game is created for touchscreen touch screen display, you won't be able to use this on um, your Nvidia Shield TV. Obviously, your TV is not touchscreen. The second, it won't work with your Nvidia Shield TV controller or remote control. So as you can see right now, it gives me options. Do you want to install it? I'm going to say yes. And then click install. So it's installing right now. So this app was originally downloaded on my Chromebook device. Then I used an app called APK Extractor to extract APK file. Then I used an app called ES File Explorer to upload the extracted APK file to my Google Drive. Then on NVIDIA Shield TV, the same app AES Explorer being used to connect to my Google Drive, download this APK file and install it. So it says installed. So if I click open it, the game will run. That's the way I sideload majority of the games. Yes, give me. I will. So uh, if the game is not available on the Google Play Store inside the NVIDIA Shield TV, then I will sideload them and then try that way to see if the game works and if the game is playable. But so as you can see, the game is running with no problems at all. Well, I already done a video about this game performance on NVIDIA Shield TV. I will leave that link to that video in the description below. And I will leave all the links to all the apps you need to download on the both devices, NVIDIA Shield TV or your Android device, like a phone, tablet or Chromebook to get all this working. So right now what's happening is just this guy game connects to a server, downloads about gigabyte of data, and then you can play. But this is just to show you that you can sideload or the apps or games to a device. Obviously, um, just as a bonus, if you get the app on the Google Play Store, which is called Side Launcher, inside there, this app will scan every single app on your NVIDIA Shield TV, which is being sideloaded. So as you can see, it's still scanning and I got a bunch of them, bunch of them sideloaded. As you can see, the second option is Assassin's Creed, where all these games is being sideloaded. So it's, it's working perfectly. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next video. Bye-bye.